Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar, and this is the first episode of my new Technician's Corner series. I had friends and clients suggest this series so they could see and learn some of the repairs I do on a daily basis. Much of what you'll see will be laptop and desktop units, but there will be tablets, phones, and other devices included in the series. Thanks for watching, and let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, this is an Optiplex 7040. It's a micro form factor. Right there's the screw that you uh, unscrew. You can either use your fingers or it'll take a flat or Phillips head screwdriver to take off that, uh, that front face and the top cover. Uh, next thing you'll need to do is to remove the hard drive here and that's just slipped out like that. And then after that I'm going to be removing the heat sink and fan assembly. Uh, now this unit would not power on. I had previously replaced the system board on it, and uh, that unfortunately didn't do it. So this time we're going to replace the processor, which uh, has uh, become a little bit of an issue in some of the various optiplexes. Now when removing the screws, there are four that hold this down, and you want to remove them in a uh, cross pattern so going to opposing corners. Uh, once you take it off you can then take the processor out by releasing the lever there uh, for the zero insertion force cage. You lift up the top and you can lift out the processor. Make sure you're only touching the sides of the processor. Don't touch the bottom as uh, that can cause damage to it. Now when you go to put the new processor in you do have to take a look at it there are two little notches on the sides towards one end. Uh, those, of course, uh, are keyed so that it will only go in in one way. You can then flip the cage down, and then you can latch the little arm there to lock it all down. Uh, next thing you're going to want to do is to make sure to put some uh, clean thermal paste on there, cleaning off any used and dried thermal paste on the... Uh, heat sink there first and then you'll go ahead and supply some fresh thermal paste. Make sure you don't put too much on. Uh, this does squeeze down and spread out and if you have too much it will uh, act as an insulator rather than as a heat conductor. Uh, it is used of course to uh, bridge the gap between the the heat sink and the CPU. Installing the heat sink is the reverse of taking it off. Just uh, seat it down, screw the uh, bolts down in a crosshatch pattern again, and uh, here I am testing it very quickly to see if it will uh, power up properly. As you can see the light does come on and it does stay on, which is what it wasn't doing before. Now to finish up, I just snap the hard drive back into place. And then here, I'll just go ahead and slide the top cover back on and screw that thumb screw back in. Again, if you're having an issue with the thumb screw, you can use a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver to uh, get it screwed down. All right, everybody. Well, that'll do it for me today. If you guys like this, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that up bell icon. I'll let you know when we got new videos coming out. And uh, also, if you'd like to support the channel, go ahead down there in the description below. There is that PayPal link where you can uh, leave a donation. This has been the first episode of Technician's Corner. I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye!